make good on my promise. There's something that might kind of just refresh him, rejuvenate him. I don't know if he's ever skinny dipped with a model before. It could be fun. Hey, hey you. Whoa, Courtney's there on the, uh, the stairs behind me. I was shocked. I didn't think that she would take initiative like that and kind of break the rules. I don't know how I feel about that. Good to see you. I had a nice time with you last night, Me and too. I know you've had a long day. I'm hoping I'm a vision after a long day for him. I was thinking we could go to the beach. I just think that we might as well. We're in Puerto Rico, and we should bring the wine and have some fun. Why not? Why the hell not? This is unexpected. This is the most fun I've had all week. I'm about to rock your world. We're really going for this, aren't we? You're big doing. You're only in Puerto Rico once. Elise was on a boat in the ocean going home, and I know she's probably really upset, and I'm in the ocean just enjoying it, digging it. I'm scared that the girls, when they find out, will hate me forever and ever and ever. But that's not what I'm here for. They'll live. I won't get them, but I have enough friends. I feel like I'm winning. Regardless of what happened today, mm -hmm. I feel like at this point in my life, I don't think I could give you the lifestyle that you really want. And I feel like... So wait, you think that Brit wants the lifestyle? Like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Chris! receive a rose tonight, take a moment and say your goodbyes. Look. I'm sorry. I think he made the wrong choice. I know Shannon's here for the wrong reason. She wanted a ring on her finger before she ever met the man. Tristan's there because he, she thinks he'll grow on her, and that's the wrong thing to be there for. I'm really worried about Rhonda. I, I kind of thought that if she wasn't chosen, she might have a a pretty severe reaction. I did think that she was starting to get a little bit upset when Alex was starting to uh, make his decision and hand out the roses. I could tell that she was going to get really upset if she didn't get a rose. I hope that Alex sees the truth in the four girls that are left because I believe in two of them. This, this is a fairy tale for two, not four. So, I hope they find they're looking for. I just can't breathe. Just one deep breath, please. I was outside and I heard everybody start running out the front door. And so I came back inside, I was like, what's going on? And they were like, Rhonda just had some kind of attack. The paramedics are here. What's the matter? Upset? Yes, no, maybe so? Yeah. You need to try and breathe through your nose, okay? I can't even breathe. What's her name? Rhonda. Rhonda. 
Honda, you're not having an asthma attack. Okay? You're having an anxiety attack. I don't want drama. This is up to put me in this situation. This is something that I dreamt about that's like exciting to me and happy to me and like that I would die to do. I don't want to have upset somebody to have somebody be have a hard time on my behalf. I don't want that. And that creates drama. I don't want it. And if this is gonna be drama and if she's gonna feel bad, take the date card. It's not worth it to me. This is drama. This whole is drama. I don't want this. I just wanna have fun. And then I got bit by fire ants and it like, ah, oh, it just sucks. I'm so eaten up. I look like I have chicken pox. Look at this. How are you doing? Um, I've been better. What happened? Going to the fantasy suite and waking up the next morning, mm -hmm. you know, I had a lot of thoughts running through my mind and... All of us have thoughts. You know, I realized that I wasn't in love with you. Who's and that I wasn't going to be. And, mm -hmm. and despite all the great feelings and the great adventures, it, it wasn't gonna work. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's a hard thing for me to realize after all this time. It's fine. It's okay. It shouldn't just be okay. It's not okay. Like, I know that I didn't leave behind a child, but like, I left mm -hmm. behind family and friends mm -hmm. and a job. And when you say it's okay, that bothers me because but it makes I don't want you, I, I don't want you to be bothered. I want you to understand that I cannot force you to feel something for me. I know, but I feel like, yeah. you know, I. I listen to you and I appreciate that you say like mm -hmm. you've liked me from week mm -hmm. two, but mm -hmm. that's that doesn't seem real to me because you don't even really know who I am. And I feel like every what? time I've tried to explain things, you know, whether it was mm -hmm. um, in Vietnam or whether it was in Miami, like okay. my nervousness, you don't know why I'm nervous about you meeting you, my you, family. Because all your responses is, is it's okay, it's okay. Everything's uh, always it's okay. And hey. I want to die if I have to hear it's okay again. Like Andy, I can't handle it. That's fine. What do you want me to do? Honestly. Feel I respect you. Feel have something? Have some emotions I, about I it. I have you know? some emotion. I'm being honest. Okay. Do I appreciate honesty? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do I think, in my opinion, that you take it too far? Absolutely. It's offensive to you that I'm honest and I say, it's you the difference be, between listen, being honest and you, being a be honest. Like, if that's there how is. You, okay, fine. Is that how you see it? Okay. I know, I don't know. I'm in the kitchen waiting for Sean to come, and we hear a big bang in the house. Oh, 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 Tiara took a big fall, and she just looks totally out of it. I just pray and hope that she's okay. Oh, no, she's got to she go. Oh, she fell down. Apparently, seconds before I walked in, Tiara fell down the stairs and hit her head. Are you all right? I'm trying to talk to her to make sure she's OK. I'm asking her questions, and she's really not responding. My first thought is, we need to get her to a hospital. Uh, we're going to go get an x-ray. We got you. I don't want to do this, though. Lower. Lower your leg. Lower. There you go. OK. We're almost there. Okay. Go. Yep, Straighten your legs out. No. No. I don't really know whether she's hurt or not. I have no idea, but she like popped up and was like, okay, Sean's here. I'm a smart woman. I can see through it. Do you still remember my name? Sean. <laughs> I mean, poor Ashley, she's waiting in the kitchen for her date. And it's now all about Tiara. I wish you hadn't have fallen. Glad we got this little time together, though. Kind of worked out <laughs> in benefit of me. <laughs> She start falling down the stairs more I often. Know. Maybe Sean will come over. <laughs> she thinks it's cute to play the victim. Hot tub? Can we take our stuff off? I think a lot of the guys in the house have been annoyed with JJ and Clint. Looks like their egos kind of got in the way, kind of secluded themselves from the rest of the house. Just doing weird stuff. I was obsessed with turtles forever. Like, I'm a turtle guy. Which turtles are? Turtles are awesome. They're the coolest. I, I love turtles. They're the coolest. JJ and Clint, I honestly think that they're so they're so into each other that they just honestly are blonde. They don't realize what they're doing. You're such a good dude. Like, I really like you. I think they're just 
I think they're just all about each other. Not Caitlyn. I feel like I've connected with JJ probably more than Caitlyn right now because we're just so similar. It's actually absolutely insane. I never thought that I would meet someone like that here. We've grown very close, almost too close, I think, at times, in the room and stuff like that, and in the shower. <laughs> the possibility of coming onto The Bachelorette and falling in love with a man never crossed my mind. But I believe in the process, and at this point, I'm a success story. It's fine if I, I strategically I'm put so everyone on this sorry. side. It's just if I look that way. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I'm sorry, but this is how I feel. I just feel like I didn't get my time, so I'll give you this rose, and I just want to have my time. Okay, can you just give us like two more minutes? Can I just steal them away? Please. You, okay, you talk, I'll come back to this. Come back. Please. We'll you don't have back. to move, we'll Chris. You don't have to move. Are you okay but I'll walk with you. Yeah, like, okay. she didn't want to take it. Oh. Okay. Okay, that to me is an onion, if you want to take a look. Camera. It's blooming. Take a freaking look at the onion. Look at this onion. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. Are you dying inside? Oh, I'm just excited for this. I'm excited for the opportunity, the potential. You know, like you're <laughs> beautiful and amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm hoping that. Can I please just pick it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's if take it's a, look a at pomegranate, it. then God bless it. Yeah. Let's take a look. She offered me a yellow rose. <laughs> You're a wrestler. Why did you <laughs> pull out a move? I can't just I like can't throw just wrestling down. people. <laughs> it is a pomegranate. It is. I want to know where she got the yellow rose. I know. <laughs> wow. I feel powerful. Katie. Man. <laughs> Most definitely, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Chris, I need to talk to you real quick. Ladies, you'll excuse us. I forgot her name. That wasn't the girl I wanted to give it to. It's the Karen. I said Katie. I froze and forgot. I said Katie. We gotta do that again. Somehow we gotta do that again. Ladies, our apologies for making you wait tonight, but uh, we've ended up facing something we've never run into before. So, uh, Jesse has something to say to you. Ladies, I'm sorry for, for taking that time. Um, I'm very embarrassed to tell you this. Katie, I accidentally called out the wrong name, but I would like to extend to you the option of staying. I'll stay and see how things go, sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. Why not? <laughs> this is now the final rose tonight. <laughs> when you're ready. <laughs> Karen. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Karen, I'm so sorry. No, that's all right. I'm just happy. <laughs> Karen, will you please accept this rose? Absolutely, I will. Thank, Thank you. So much. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Nervous. Remember when you told me that marriage for you is one time and, and one time only? I feel the same exact way. And I just say goodbye to Jenny. Hold on real quick.
We always promised ourselves we'd be completely honest, right? No matter how much it could hurt, I can't look you in your eye and tell you that I love you. I can't. I have to tell you goodbye. I don't understand. I refuse to give you any kind of false promise because I do care about you so much. It just doesn't sound right to say that you do care about someone so much, but you're willing to watch them walk away. I don't ever want to hurt you. I'm hurting right now. 